Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my African food adventure. Uh, please be sure to give me your thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe. Hit the bell button next to the subscribe button so you get notified each time I post a video. And <laughs> this is how far I've gotten with my food. And also, most importantly, leave me your comment. I do appreciate most of all comments from people who have um, profile pictures. So upload your profile picture on YouTube. Um, don't give me your WhatsApp number. I'm not going to uh, text you on WhatsApp because I don't have that time. And um, a lot of people are like, Tetsi, talk to me, you know, just can we chat privately? And I'm like, hell no. What do you think I am? Like, I spend most of my time like chatting with like people with no profile pictures on WhatsApp. No, I don't have that time. And then lots of people are inviting me to visit their country. <clears throat> I don't have the um, income or opportunity time-wise to visit unknown people from the internet so it's pointless to invite me but if you want to you can but it won't make any difference really and then <clears throat> other people are like offering me marriage mm, and that's fine too look my hair is curly never had curly hair before and it's fluffy really fluffy and um Oh, that's because I switched to um, using home soap. So, mm. really getting used to this taste. Anyway, so yeah, thumbs up, comment, picture, upload your picture, subscribe. Mm. And I'll see you on my next one. I'm trying to do more than one upload a week. Um, you may have noticed now I'm doing like two sometimes three uploads a week let me know if you like that or if you prefer um, more rare videos animal videos I don't do anymore you can find them on tetsi.com that's my private website tsi dot com and um, I still couldn't figure it out. I still could not figure out what the slimy thing is. I found the bean inside that slimy thing. <laughs> so, um, where was I? I was just about to say goodbye, but then you guys kept me on. I'm still trying to figure out the slimy thing. I've definitely eaten it before. I definitely have. And there is more of that starch. Boy, 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 Finally, I know what it is. You guys know what that is? This is not dough. This is the Japanese soybean um, specialty or whatever. Um, basically, natto is a fermented soybean. I had it in Japan. I had it when I was in Tokyo. You, it's sold in boxes. You open up the box. Oh, I need to go get some water. Oh my god, it's so hot in my mouth.
Trump is on TV. <laughs> so, I just, oh, let's just see. We've got one pound for the water. Yes, we do. This is what the English one pound coin looks like. And uh, <laughs> thank you. What are you doing? Filming myself. <laughs> The lady doesn't seem to like being filmed, but she's my favorite here because she helped me with my choices. Okay. How do I prop this up again? Please. It is, um, it's sort of like very frizzy and fluffy, so I'm, I'm going to have to buy some products to make it more, more slick. Oh, this is a fluffy hair tutorial. Hmm. Hmm. I got used to it. More bones. If somebody's from Nigeria and knows this language and knows what they were talking about, can comment below. Please comment below. Let us know. I want to eavesdrop on their conversations and be like a fly on the wall and understand them, but I don't. So, this is what the leaves look like. I used to date an African guy um, when I was living in London, and I don't remember his name, but my nickname for him was Neptune. And he was a really, really fine guy, really gorgeous, and um, that's why I named him Neptune because um, he's like the king of he's the um, king of the water world, and I've always imagined him like dark skin because that's how they portrayed him when I was a kid. That's how they portrayed Neptune. So I'm just sort of picking whatever's left on these leaves because that's that's the tastiest one I had so far. Um,
Gun factory. They found a gun factory somewhere. That's what they're showing on TV. <laughs> I think I had just about enough African food for today. Thank you guys for visiting. Don't forget to um, check out this place. Let me show you what it looks like on the outside. So I'm out on the street. Right over there is the big te Tesco center. Right here is the um, sign in front of the door. This is the famous red buses in London. Um, I'm not sure what's behind me, but this is my outfit for today. I'm all in pink. And um, is there. I think this is the logo of the restaurant. Anyway, you can also order food from them from Just Eat. And then they probably deliver with, um, with Deliveroo. Are you a journalist? With, no, a YouTuber. <laughs> a YouTuber? Yes. Don't put me on YouTube. Don't put you on YouTube. Hello. So, um, Deliveroo is a delivery service all over London, which delivers on a um, motorbike. Um, so, if, if you order from any restaurant in London, chances are, in about one or two hours, you get your food delivered by motorcycle. So, it's very unique. Living in London is like a dream come true. It's the most tolerant city, the most tolerant country for foreigners, in fact. Uh, the best experience I've ever had living abroad. I don't feel like a foreigner here. I feel like one of the locals. And it's a fun place to, to be. It took me a while to get used to it. But once I got used to it, now it's like my second skin. And I love it. Well, this vlog really stretched out. So <clears throat> thank you guys for watching. I love you. Bye.